So here is yet another way to read XML, the fourth way. The first was simple XML, which you should always use basically in small websites and small XML files. You also have XML Reader, which can read larger files, is more in terms of performance better. You have SAX, which is very complicated, but you may run into it in older projects, that kind of thing. And you also have DOM. Now DOM is similar to simple XML. It reads the whole tree into memory at once. So it's not like XML Reader or SAX where you're going through one element at a time. And it is the standard way, let's say, of reading and writing XML files. And you'll run into it quite often in projects since it's probably the most robust way to read XML files and is still widely in use. So let's do an example of reading our XML file, our members XML file with DOM. Let's define a DOM object. DOM equals new DOM document. If you have Eclipse, you've got your code assist working for you there. Load members XML. Members equals. Okay, now I'm going to get all of the member elements. Basically, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to get them all in a collection with this. Get elements by tag name. So we have member. That's the name of our tag that we want to get. And let's just run through it with the for each members as member. So now we have our member object and we'll act on that. And let me show you a very interesting way of getting the data out of this element. So now we are in a loop going through each of these elements here. So we are in, let's say, this element. And we say member first child, and then get the first child of the first child, and then get the data of the first child of the first child of member. Let's see if that works. So, dom read, dom read, no. Let's see what could be wrong here. Okay, and so the answer is, it's a very difficult issue here with white space, because what's happening here is we have member, first child, and first child. What that's doing, or what we thought it was doing, is getting each member, and then going to the first child of that element, which is first name, and then going to the child of that element, which is this data node, and then getting the data of that data node. And it should work, but as we have seen, it doesn't. The problem is we need to say DOM preserve white space equals false. Let's look at it again. Oops. And we have our first names. The reason is, the reason that this made it work is that before this statement, before we put the statement in, preserve white space was true, which meant that it was reading the white space. That meant that it got here, which is member node. The first child of the member node is this space here. And then the first child of that is this, and this doesn't have any data, and so that's why we didn't get anything. And all of this complexity goes to show why they call simple XML, simple XML. But in some cases, you will need to use DOM, so let's continue onward. So I would like to get the first name, the last name, and the score out of each of the members. But I'm not going to be able to use this relational mapping here with first child, first child. I'll do it a different way. Show you another syntax. First name, for instance, would be defined as this member, and then get elements by tag name again from the member, first name. So this gets an array of first names as if there's more than one. And then in that array of first names, although there's just one, it gets the first item and then gets the node value of that item. So let's see if that works. Let's actually make some other characters here just so we know that it works from the changes. 
first name so save and reload and yes it does work so that's a preferred way to get out the first name because we can then get the last name the same way we don't have this first child stuff last name equals last name here like this and now let's also get the score like this super and now we'll say here instead of this we'll say echo first name last name had a score of score so and that looks like that so let's take a look at that super now what about the id what about the attributes let's go ahead and read id in here because it's a little different let me just give you the syntax here so attributes so attributes equals member attributes and we have to run through them now for each attributes as index dom object so the key is going to be the dom object name for instance id and the value is going to be the dom object value then to get id we'll say if the key as we're going through equals id then id equals the value and there we have the id let's go ahead and put the id here and look and there we have it we're getting the attribute out so you can see that it's also possible with dom to get information out of the xml file just a bit more complicated and full of little traps here and there but dom you'll see quite often in projects which process xml files